I should probably stop worrying about tomorrow. Because when it comes, all is well, as well, should be. Hi guys, it's me, Simply Arya Renee. And this is our fourth episode together. Before I begin, I just want to say thank you so much for listening. And I just want to let you know that my goal for 2021-2021 is to publish um, four episodes each month. My goal is to um, have those episodes published each Wednesday. I want to be more consistent. And yeah, so that's my goal. Um, If I am unable to meet that goal, I think it's okay. Uh, But I just wanted to get that out there. I don't know if anybody was wondering if I'm going to be more consistent with this. (laughs) But um, yeah, so that's what I have decided to do. And I just want to remind us today um, to not worry about tomorrow. I know saying that is one thing and doing that is another thing. I have been anxious this year more than I have in previous years, mainly because I didn't know what was happening, what was to come, but I am so grateful to have made it to where I am today and to still still be here with you on today. Um, Just know that your worries and your anxieties and your fears, they are valid. And it is very important for you to acknowledge that. Um, And to also maybe consider, well, why am I anxious? And what about this situation makes me anxious? I'll tell you for myself, um, the Christmas season makes me anxious. Uh, for for reasons of things that occurred to me in the past during this time of year. So each year I, I end up feeling some type of way, but I'm now able to work through that and I acknowledge, now I acknowledge, <laughs> I'm able to see for myself that, oh yes, you are anxious and this is why. And Let's work through that. So like I said in my previous um, episode, I know that this year caused us a lot of trauma. This year was filled with unexpected twists and turns. And we experienced things in life that we never would have thought of ever, or at least for me. I never would have thought of, but even throughout all of that, we made it each day. Maybe you didn't feel like you made it. Maybe you don't feel triumphant in making it to where you are today. And I understand because some days I wake up and I'm just like, okay, all right, I made it through the night. Is there anything else I need to be doing? Because just being alive is enough for me. So I just want to remind you today that whatever comes, it will come and it will be okay. The last line says, all is well, as well could be. So some situations, they are terrible. Others, they they may be bad, but if we shift our perspective a little bit, maybe we're able to see some good. Maybe we we can find some light. Maybe we can find some joy, some peace. So whatever worries, whatever cares that you have, I pray that you are able to not allow them to control you and to dictate how you live your life, but that they may be more of an awareness for you. 
I do not shame anyone for being anxious or for feeling um, overwhelmed or maybe if you feel lost, I understand because I have felt those feelings before myself. And it's okay to be happy and to have some form of anxiousness within you. Those two can coexist. You are allowed to be grateful for what you have today while also worrying and wondering, hoping and praying for what is to come for you. I just hope that in your worries, that you take a moment to soak and to digest and remember the fact that you made it to where you are today. And this time yesterday, maybe you didn't think you would be here today, but you are still here. And I am so very happy for you. And I am so very proud of you. It is my prayer that next year that we may meet again. And it is also my prayer that you will make it. There's a lot of people reflecting on the year now and they are reflecting on their accomplishments, what they have done, their success. And honestly, for some of us, the main thing we accomplished was survival. And I find that to be the most important thing that we have all accomplished this year is surviving. I am very proud of you. I am very happy for you. And I pray that you do not just survive in this next year, but that you may grow and that you may thrive. That's my goal. I've had many worries uh, throughout this year and even before this year, I had many worries and concerns about my health and the state of my health as I live with autoimmune issues and even my mental health. But I know for many people, a lot of people, if not everyone in the world, this year really showed, a, showed us that we are, we're not immortal, we're not invincible, and it's important to rest and to take care of ourselves. So I hope that you take a moment today to rest, to lay your burdens down, and know that everything is going to be okay. Because all is well, as well can be.